my name is Megan Miller, and the goal of my experiment was to improve the aerodynamics of Class 8 tractor trailer trucks. The way I got the idea for this experiment was I was driving down the highway one day and I saw how unaerodynamic and boxy Class 8 tractor trailer trucks really are. So I figured if I could improve the aerodynamics, then I could save trucking companies a lot of fuel and thus save them a lot of money. So what I did was I built a 30 foot long wind tunnel in my backyard. It was an open circuit pull flow wind tunnel with a contraction ratio of 1 to 2.4 and a total blockage ratio of 13%. I then tested for consistent airflow as well as I found I had minimal wall interaction inside of my wind tunnel. The next thing I did was I tested a 1 to 16 scale model of a class 8 tractor trailer truck. I originally made it out of balsa wood, however I found that it was too heavy and would not yield me good results. And so after a little troubleshooting, I then found that I needed to make it out of foam that did work inside my wind tunnel. The next part was my gap test experiment. I wanted to see how drag correlated to the gap, the distance of the gap between the tractor and the trailer. I tested six different gap distances between the tractor and the trailer and found that drag correlated in a nonlinear manner to the distance between the tractor and the trailer. Also during this portion of the experiment, I validated my model in my wind tunnel against industry averages. The third portion of my experiment was I tested flatbed load configurations on a flatbed tractor trailer truck. I tested six different load configurations and found that the best load configuration was the full front load. This load produced the least amount of drag. However, if you have a heavy load, the next best thing is to equally distribute it along your flatbed trailer. If the load is not able to be distributed, the next best thing is to place it in the middle of the flatbed trailer. So, reducing drag by correctly loading a flatbed trailer may seem like a small thing, but there are so many trucks on the road today that even a small fuel savings can add up and make a huge difference for our country and its dependence on oil. It is an opportunity to meet incredible people, continue my research, and make a difference.